All right, well, this is real dream come true type stuff. I've been a fan of Addy since I was a teenager and they're a big reason why I am actually a rally driver. So I am honored and humbled to be a part of the Audi team. Uh, and usually we make the launch videos, but they've made a very nice welcome to the team video for me. So let's check that out. And after that, I might get to drive this thing. some German efficiency. This yeah. is a history-defining moment. Oh, textbook move, textbook move. This could be a turning point in the championship. All right, so we are here in Ingolstadt, which is the home of Audi and has been for a long time. We started talking to Audi actually quite a while back and we finally were able to put together this partnership. And Audi said, well, if this is going to start, it has to start in Germany at the home of Audi and Ken has to drive some cars, which is the part Ken is most <laughs> excited about. That's how we got him on the plane. So I get to go to museums, design studios, corporate offices, get to drive cars. This is really kind of a dream come true. So we're here for a couple days. We're gonna do a bunch of stuff, which will end up being a couple episodes for you guys. But to start, Audi said we've got two vehicles for you guys to drive around in. One of them being the most powerful Audi ever built. RS e Tron GT, 637 horsepower, most powerful Audi currently made, and the other one being the most powerful Audi in its time. And that's the car that in the 80s inspired me not only to love Audi, but made me love rally, and what influenced me to eventually become a rally driver. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, like this at its time was a extremely pivotal car for the brand, right? I mean, Quattro, this is the short wheelbase. So this is like the ultimate form of the street car, the homologation car that gave yep. way to the S1, S1 E2, S1 Pikes Peak, all these amazing machines. And then this is the newest and greatest sports car from Audi, which from everything I know is apparently really fast for an electric car. Yeah, vi violently. Violently <laughs> fast, which is good. Violent electric is yeah. the kind of electric we like. Yeah, and the thing is like, this is the future and it's beautiful. They've done such a good job on the design side and then the performance side is incredible. So I'm stoked to be coming into Audi in this era, celebrating the past, but embracing some of the coolest new electric technology in the entire world. So Ken, are, can we be honest, is this just a glimpse of what the future garage looks like? It's <laughs> so like one of these, one of these, you pick the day, right? A little old, a little new. I mean, this, uh, as far as the garage, this isn't very far away from yeah, that's like, what tomorrow. I, yeah, that's what I mean. This is what, this is what your garage will look like at home. But that's, that's why I'm so stoked on this partnership. The historical stuff and the rally stuff is very near and dear to my heart. And the technology and the future and the horsepower is right here. Happy man. All right, so this right here is basically my nerd kingdom. <laughs> this is everything that I've been here before. This isn't my first time here, but this is my first time here with Ken. And because we're here with Ken, they've actually closed the museum for the day, but they're allowing us in today because Ken gets that special privilege. They're rolling out the red carpet. This is part of Ken's welcome to Audi. So we're gonna walk around, take a look at things. Yeah, and there's a couple of cars right there and a conveyor belt that are some of the biggest inspiration of why I'm a rally driver, why I love all wheel drive. And I've never seen them up close. So I'm very stoked to, to be here and see these particular Audis. 
I'll take one, maybe two. Yeah, I actually have one of those and one of those, but <laughs> I would way rather have one of these and one of these, and definitely one of those, one of those, one of those, one of those. Whoa, he did it! <laughs> Yo, I could actually drive this. <laughs> Does that look familiar? Yeah, uh, one of the uh, first Audis I ever owned. When I met you, you had the yeah. S4, which is pretty much, this is the RS4, but. Yeah. Well, I would, I would have had the if RS4. If they sold it in America, <laughs> right. Yeah, if they sold it in America. But... Man, this is such a cool car. And I have some great photos we could drop in here too of my S4 bot out on the Bonneville Salt Flats. Hello. Hello. So you are a tour guide for today. I am your very private tour guide for today. Ken, thank you for having us. It's an honor for me. It's a pleasure to have you as a guest here for today to take you on the tour through the very complicated history of Audi and to show you how the four rings. And I, and I know some of the complicated history, but I, I think this guy's going to give us yeah, a lot more yourself. So, I, will, I will try. So there's a lot for you to explain today, but the two things I think we want to walk away with for everyone who's watching is like the history of the four rings and then the quick history of Quattro. And then from there, talk about some of the race cars, because at the end of the day, that's what inspired him to get into racing cars. OK, um, follow me very quickly. Okay. The beginning of Audi goes back to 1899. It was August Hoch, a very famous engineer in Germany, who founded the brand Hoch. He tried to develop a six-cylinder engine. He failed and the result was he was fired from his own company and he went two streets away from Hoch and he founded a second company. He was not allowed to use the brand name Hoch, so he translated it and Hoch in Latin means Audi. The third company, it was founded by a Bavarian guy. He saw a big, big future for bicycles. Their brand name was Wanderer. The fourth ring, DKW. And his first thing was a two-stroke engine to be run in the kid's room. So it was a one-horsepower two-stroke engine you played with in your bedroom? <laughs> so basically like a mobile that runs on gas, I'm into that. All the companies, they all get bankrupt at the end. So the only thing was to merge this for a company under one roof. And therefore, in 1932, this was the foundation of the so-called Auto Union with the four rings. There are the Auto Union highlights, the famous silver arrows. At this time, the Auto Union with the four rings was famous because of this race cars, because they were recognized worldwide. This is the famous Audi 100, maybe the most important car after the war, because with this car, we sold 820,000 units. Out of the Audi 100, they made the shorter version, the Audi 80. And out of the Audi 80, they made an even shorter one, the first compact car, the Audi 50. The first luxury and more a sports car was the Audi Quattro. Pierre said, OK, my five-cylinder engine in combination with this four-wheel drive would be the ideal sports car. That was the birth of the development of the Audi Quattro. Kind of a big jump from those cars to these cars. Now we have a car with 200 horsepower, with a five-cylinder engine, with four-wheel drive, and with a very masculine design. To prove the quality of Quattro, he decided to go in motorsports, the World Rally Championship. Mm -hmm. And we have the first car, the Rally Group 4 Quattro from 1980. And we have maybe the most fascinating version here, the Evolution 2 S1 Pikes Peak, the first Rally Quattro monster driven in the US. After this car, everybody in the world knew what Quattro really means and what advantage it brings to have four driven wheels in racing competition. Well, Audi doing that, bringing all-wheel drive into the World Rally Championship and ending up in Pikes Peak, that's what inspired me as a teenager to not only fall in love with Rally and the World Rally Championship, but Audi in particular. That's where I said, that's what I want to do in the world of motorsports. And you made it. Yeah, <laughs> and, and even my entire career really has been an all-wheel drive, basically from the inspiration of Audi from the beginning. I've seen many videos of it. I've never seen it up close. You know, it looks beautiful to me. It also looks very sketchy. You as a racing driver, <laughs> yeah. you don't, yeah. you need nothing more. Yeah. This is enough to, yeah. to win a race. Regrettable, we have it on this, this elevator, so you can't have a seat. Um, I'll but have to come back. <laughs> we promise as soon as he is off the, the elevator, um, we will give you the chance, maybe you can drive it out here of the museum Ooh. and make some, some curves here on the piazza before the museum. Yes. Would be a sensation.
Unless you heard him. He said it. <laughs> he said it. I can drive this. I can do donuts outside. He said this. <laughs> They promised you you could drive cars. So we are here at Neuberg, which is Audi's test facility and the home of Audi Sport. And today, they're letting you do something I'm extremely jealous of. <laughs> what? Getting to drive both of these things here. Yes. They basically said, you can't drift them, but you can drive them as hard as you want. I mean, no one wants to hear us talk about this. They just want to see you drive them. Yep. So go. <laughs> and I'll just sit here kind of bummed. Maybe I can get a ride along on the Sport Project. I think you should. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could ride along with you now. Yeah. That sounds like a great idea. Holy crap, it's fast. It's interesting to be in a car where all you hear is the tires. Yeah. And it's fast. Really fast. I mean, oh. it just goes. Yeah. It's just instant. So in other words, super sketchy. What? <laughs> <laughs> Which car do you think you're going to be faster in this or the Sport Quattro? <laughs> you, you, th that's going to be a weird meet your heroes day. Yeah. Well, especially because how simple this is. Oh, yeah. This is like point and squirt. Yeah. Uh. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'll take it. Uh. Man, the active seatbelts are aggressive. <laughs> I think the car thinks it's just kind of do a car accident. <laughs> it's like we're on fire. <laughs> slow is fast, fast, slow is fast. I'm glad no one's been yelling at us like brakes are on fire. <laughs> Alright, 15 second review. A lot of torque, incredible braking. It definitely performs incredible. Oh yeah. Like this is a race car. <laughs> With air conditioning. Yeah, with a very nice... With AC on. With a very nice interior. Yeah. Let's get into the Sport Quadra before they tell us we have to leave. <laughs> this is probably almost 40 years in the making as you're wanting to drive this car. It's like 38 or something. Yeah. I mean, they're beautiful. Look at... Incredible. I, too, have been waiting to drive this car for most of my life. At least I get to drive in the passenger seat. Every old Audi smells like crayons. And by the way, like the seat. <laughs> the is, driving position. The seat is as far back as it possibly will go. Are you saying that this is not a sporty driving position? <laughs> no. <laughs> back to shifting. Oh boy, what's that noise? <laughs> it's already <laughs> first corner, it's already making noises. <laughs> I feel really big in this car. <laughs> I really don't want to admit, but the RS Nitro GT is a little bit more fun in the passenger seat. <laughs> it goes against everything I would have guessed. How about from behind the wheel? Um, well, this is a lot you, more work. Yeah, <laughs> you had to roll the window down because you're getting hot. Considering also that I'm being as gentle as I possibly can. <laughs> taking away a little bit of the fun. Timo looks so, he looks so concerned. See, when I drive it less hard, that's yeah. when it makes the, it's the you're, beeping noise It's because the oil pump spins faster when you're on the rev, you gotta just drive it harder. It was built to be driven hard. See, Timo, take a very nice piece. I think depending on how you drive this will be whether or not Timo lets you drive anything else this week. <laughs> 10 second review. Woo, it's definitely an 80s car. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a pick between the two as a track car. Between the two, what? That. Well, I mean, that the is... The RC e-tron GT. I mean, that... <laughs> I, if you're just going for pure fun, 
that car is incredible. I mean, I, I would take that car hands down. If you're going for the smell, the 80s design. Um, you just look at that thing. If you're going looking for parts that'll eventually wear out, <laughs> be hard to find, <laughs> then yeah, this is the car. Cool, so we should buy one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Are you Maybe happy you know? that's over? Perfect. Okay. Are you happy that's over? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> That doesn't happen very often. Man, what a beautiful car. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you, you Timo. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I appreciate it. That was an incredible experience. Do we yeah. have to blur that? That's like the Batcave entrance. Ooh. Oh my god. I mean, is that yeah. something we could do? I mean, you gotta go check with I mean, another I, I boss know, or something. I know. <laughs>